Hello and welcome to today's video on paints and pigments and what we're going to be looking at is, is how paints and pigments are, are used uh, to make things look nice and pretty. Okay so here are our objectives for, for today's lesson. So by the end of this lesson you should know how paints are formed and how paints are able to stick to a surface. Okay, so what is paint? Now, paint is something that is called a colloid. Now, a colloid is spelt like so. I'll just move that so we can see it. Colloid there. Okay, now a colloid is where we have a solid and a liquid mixed together. But the solid is very, very small, very, very finely suspended in in the liquid so for example if this is a black paint here you can see that we've got the black paint molecules or particles here and they are suspended but they are solid particles that are in the liquid form now within a paint there are several different uh, different parts there is, first of all, there is the pigment. Now, the pigment will be the colour of the, or the chemical that makes the colour. There will be the binding medium. Now, the binding medium will be the thing that sticks to the surface of the, of the thing that you're painting. And then, the last thing, is the solvent now this could be water or oil depending on the type of paint that you've got if it's uh, if it's a emulsion paint it'll be water oh, don't want that there want that over here okay and if it's an oil paint it will be A gloss paint okay okay so how does paint actually work now here we've got our pigment which is the yellow we've got our binding medium which is the stick in between okay so just here and then we have our solvent which is the blue thing just here okay so uh, let's get rid of that and that and that oh we haven't got rid of that right okay so if we've got a wall here okay so we'll we'll do our green wall now, if we want to paint that so it's now yellow, okay, what will happen is the binding medium will attach to the wall and it will take with it the pigment. Now, the pigment will then mean that the wall has become yellow. Okay, now we've not done a very good paint job there because we've got got a bit of green showing now the solvent will then evaporate off okay now if we've got a uh, oil based paint now what will happen is the binding medium here will oxidize so the binding medium will oxidize and that will create a layer on the outside that will help protect it so if you go and touch uh, like gloss painted skirting boards you'll find that they've got a protective layer on the outside now there are two types of special paint that you can get the first one is a thermochromatic paint and the second one is a phosphorescent paint now, the phosphorescent paint will change colour in the 
in the light and dark. So you can see from these two pictures here, this is the fire blanket uh, instructions on by my by my door. Now this is with the lights on, and then with the lights off, you can see that the area around here actually starts to glow green, and that's because during the during the light time, this part here absorbs the light energy and then when it becomes dark it then releases that light energy as phosphorescence now thermochromatic paint can have can be quite useful for things like novelty cups so you can see here you've got a cup that's one color when it's got nothing in and then when you put a hot liquid in it can change color now this can be useful for as we said uh, novelty cups uh, for mood rings um, so when your body gets warm the temperature the color will change you can have it for baby feeding spoons so you can tell whether the food's hot enough or cool enough and also for bath toys to see whether the uh, temperature is correct so how do we make these paints now there's only a few actual pigments so a few actual colors that actually make these these pigments so what they can do is they can take an ordinary pigment and they can mix it with a thermochromatic pigment. So you can see here we've got the ordinary pigment, the thermochromatic pigment, and then we get this colour change here. Now this is known as an acrylic paint. Now what happens is when they're cold, you get this colour here which is the mixture, and then when they're hot, they'll go to the ordinary pigment colour. Now, these are quite, or not a new thing, but we've had to change the way that we make uh, thermochromatic or phosphor phosphorescent paints because uh, the luminous paint used to use lead, which is radioactive, and that's where we get this idea of radioactive stuff being glowing, like at the beginning of The Simpsons. Uh, but now we use a lot safer way of doing it as the new types of paints are not radioactive. OK, so that's the end of this lesson and we have looked at uh, different types of paints and how we can get um, different types of colours, so the phosphorescent paint and the thermochromatic paint. We've also looked at how we get emulsion paint, which is water-based, and oil paints, which are um, known as gloss. We've also looked at the properties of paint or what's in the paint and that's the binding medium, the actual pigment that gives you the colour and the solvent. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.